Here's my reaction to Serena Williams revealing her use of GLP-1 inhibitors as a PT and clinical nutritionist. First of all, I will always respect people's choices when it comes to what they choose to do and not do with their body. Even the most privileged celebrities. We are all human after all. This was obviously something that she wanted to do and feel strongly about, but it just goes to show no matter how fit you may be, there may be health and metabolic challenges to face. Fitness alone is not always a pathway to good health. That said, the cynical part of me wasn't surprised that her husband is an investor in a company who sells these drugs, and I believe she is also a spokesperson for that company too. There has to be an element of marketing going on here on some level, and there's clearly money to be made with these drugs. On another note, I've heard that many people have benefited from using this drug. If this drug was available 10 years ago, I would have lined up to use it myself. Would I now? Keep watching. Having gone through the terrible pain of food addiction, insatiable hunger and blood sugar dysregulation myself, I can completely understand why people would want to take this drug. It is incredibly difficult to stop eating highly addictive foods when you are literally hungry all the time. Add on decades of poor nutrition, bad habits, poor self-esteem, negative beliefs, such a nightmare for anyone to face. Having said all of this, I've been fortunate enough to resolve these challenges naturally with nutritional strategies, Vipassana meditation, herbal medicine, and exercise over many years with consistency and persistence. I've learned why the fat wouldn't shift, how the body reaches this point, and the steps to take to start the process of naturally restoring healthy hunger signals, satiety, energy, and fat loss. As a nutritionist and personal trainer, would I advise a client to try this drug? In my role, it is not up to me to make that suggestion. If someone asked me my opinion, it would really depend on their current situation as to what I would say. The side effects do concern me, and some people I know personally have had some troubling outcomes, including muscle and strength loss and significant gut dysfunction. If you'd like to learn more about this, I'll be doing a long form video on Ozempic in the coming weeks to explain the mechanism of action, the side effects, and when it is and is not appropriate in my opinion. Plus, I'll be sharing some natural ways to improve your blood sugar levels and clear old stubborn fat. If you wanna catch it, make sure you subscribe.